Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to discuss about the demand paging. So, this demand paging is a common technique what we can use to implement the virtual memory. So, what exactly you mean by this demand paging? So, let me tell you, demand paging is a technique or system which is going to load only the pages on demand. That means it is not going to load the entire program onto the main memory for processing but it is going to load only those pages which are required for processing purpose okay so as we know that the process is normally residing on the disk okay and whenever we wanted to execute this process we are going to swap it into the main memory now the task of this demand paging is to load only those pages of the process which are required for the execution purpose instead of loading the entire program and wasting the memory okay so to swap the required pages onto the main memory we are going to use the concept of lazy swapper now the task of this lazy swapper is to bring only the necessary pages onto the main memory now if you see the diagram over here this is the uh, diagram for showing the transfer of pages from the disk to main memory or vice versa okay so as you can see here whatever the pages are not required by this program a as you can see we are having two programs so the pages which are not required by program a are swapped out Swapping out means we are going to remove it from main memory and we are going to place it back onto the disk. Okay. And similarly, you can see here the pages required by program B are swapped in. Okay. So, like this, we are going to use the concept of lazy swapper to swap in or swap out the pages which are required or not required by the program into the main memory okay so this is the basic concept of demand paging now how exactly we can implement this now, if you want to implement the concept of this demand paging we need a special kind of hardware support this hardware support is going to keep track of the pages when we say keeping track of the pages that means it will keep track that which are the pages which are placed on the disk and the pages which are there in the main memory and this tracking of the pages can be done by using a scheme called valid invalid bit scheme okay so the we are having actually a page table which is going to have this scheme that is valid invalid entry bit scheme okay and <clears throat> there is one more point here called page fault this page faults are occurring particularly when the process is trying to access the page which is not swapped into the main memory now let us have a visual idea about this implementation so this is the diagram for implementing the demand paging now here as you can see we are having the logical memory we are having the physical memory and we are having a page table in which we are going to use the concept of valid invalid bit scheme okay so as you can see here the entry bit for pages which are bought into the physical memory are set to the letter v v indicates valid you can see here and i indicates invalid okay the entry bit of the pages which are not currently on the memory are marked as i now see here in the logical memory we are having all these pages containing certain kind of data okay and here you can see we in the page table we are going to keep track of the pages now you you can see there are certain pages where we have written v v means valid that means these are the pages which are loaded onto the physical memory okay so next comes the i i indicates invalid pages that means these are the pages which are residing on the disk but they are not on the physical memory okay and whenever the process is getting executed and the process is trying to access the page which is not swapped into the main memory like if i wanted to 
the i mean i wanted a page b okay sorry the page 1 which is not swapped here so it will cause the page fault okay i hope you got the idea about what is demand paging and how exactly we are going to implement the demand paging pure demand paging as we know already about the demand paging now let us understand what do you mean by pure demand paging so whenever the pages are supplied purely on demand we call it as pure demand paging that is once the page is swapped in after the page fault the process execution is continuing until the need for other page arises again and the process of demand and supply for the pages is continuing until all the pages required by the process are loaded into the main memory and at that point the process can execute without any page faults and this kind of scheme where there is no page fault occurring we call it as pure demand paging hope you people understood what exactly you mean by pure demand paging thanks for watching